Yo, turtle fans. Cowabunga, dudes. Anyways, um, I, you know, you never know how much stuff you have <laughs> for a collection until you start pulling it all out and trying to organize it for one bookshelf. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd, uh, start kind of putting stuff away, but first, before I do that, I thought I'd show what I have. So, first thing, I think I've shown these before in another video. I'll lift this up. These are classic packaging figures. I don't have my originals anymore. I sold them because I wanted to get these to hang up because they look really nice in their packaging. And I was only about, oh, about five or six when the original show was out back in 87, 88, or whenever these came out originally. So I've got, I've got Leonardo up there, Michelangelo. I found Genghis Frog recently. Very happy to find that one. Donatello, Raphael, Splinter, Bebop, Brock City, and Leatherhead over there. So those are all the classic ones I have there. And here on this shelf, I've got all the classic series DVDs. Uh, seasons 1 through 10 are all there. If I can fit them all in the frame there. Yep, they're all there. Got those. And then these are, I've shown these in another video comparing them to another set that I had. Excuse the glare, the sun is like right in my window right now. But uh, yeah, I'll um, maybe I'll go into more detail with those again. And then let's see, down here I have some, thought I'd just leave them on the shelf. These little micro keychains. Got all four turtles, two in each pack. And then I got these. Uh, let's see, they're Mega Blocks, real metal. Their shells are metal. Their bodies are plastic. But these are really cool. They're like little miniature action figures, basically. I have a whole bunch of Mega Blocks figures. I don't remember if I've made a video on those yet or not. But anyway, moving on. Here's my big guy. I've had him for a very long time. He's an original 1989. You can see on the back there. And uh, they have a re-released version of this figure. And I've seen all four of them between Walmart and Target. And, you know, to me, they look smaller than this guy. To me, they, they do. I mean, I might wind up getting one anyway. I'll probably get Leonardo just to compare sizing. But this is the original. He's got the... Still got the leather belt on. It's You can see it's wearing out there. Well, it's not real leather. That's why. But <laughs> And he's got his original katana sword, which obviously over the years, it's just been warped because of, you know, storage and all that but I love this guy I I'm never ever getting rid of him he's one of the only original items I kept I'll show you more in a bit and I got these little guys they're miniature these came with let's see it was season seven of um, Ninja Turtles Originally, I had individual uh, disc sets that came with one figure each of these. Since then, I got the uh, four disc set, so those are since gone. I still have the boxes from these, too, because it's like Leonardo Slice, Raphael Slice, you know what I mean. And these are really cool. They have movable arms, and they're holding their weapons and they've got some nice details I really like these little guys they're better than the other miniature ones I have I have another one that's you know similar that doesn't really have any accessories or anything it's it's a little Michelangelo like this but uh 
Yeah, those are really neat. I'll put those over there. And here we are with a patch set that I found locally at uh, Hobby Lobby for eight bucks. Good deal. Um, I ordered a pin that um, I wanted to put with these. And the pin has this image on it. <laughs> this is another little tin. I got this out of an Easter basket. <laughs> uh, because Walmart had like a Ninja Turtles Easter basket a couple years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I, I grabbed it. This has two different images on both sides. Classic Turtles. Not really vintage, but you know, it's cool. Alright, here's a fig pin I found of Leonardo. The only one I have so far. I might get the others. I don't know. Sometimes it's just best to focus on one turtle, you know what I mean? Because you don't have the funds for everything, you know what I mean? Alright, here's one of the other vintage items I have. This huge deluxe vintage collector case. See down here. 1990. It holds 20 figures. Now, this had some, like, uh, plastic inserts in it, but they were all cracked because, you know, age. So, it's just empty now. As you can see, it's, it's nice. I keep a lot of my figures and stuff in here when I don't have them on the shelf. I have them in bags. So that comes in handy. Quite literally. Heh. Alright, let's see. What else do we got here? Oh, I have this little T.Y. Beanie Baby I found. I found him at uh, Dollar Tree of all places. Um, they had some random little plushies and I found him hiding in there. So I was like, oh, goody. So I have one of those. I'm wondering if there's other ones of these. There probably are, but I'm happy with this one for now. Alright, next. Playing cards. Let's just do this on top of the case, shall we? Alright, I have these large playing cards I found at Dollar Tree recently. Maybe I got these last year, but I know I saw them recently too, so they still have them. And this is a set that I got to about, let's see, when did I get this one? Yeah, 2017. I got these, oh, almost five years ago now. Sheesh. But those are nice. And this set I bought at Barnes & Noble. Kind of a pizza box design. And the cards are different. Let's see, $5.99. And, uh, yeah, these are 2023. So these are, like, the brand new card set that's out now. If you want the pizza box design, it's out there. And here is a Donatello Mega Constructs figure in... It's like the original comic style. It's got the red mask. He's got a purple mask you can change him into as well. And uh, I love Mega Constructs figures because, like I said, they're like mini action figures. And I don't remember if I've done a video on all the ones that I have. I have a bunch of different ones from different shows and stuff. There's some cool guys there. I have a couple Xenomorphs. They came in like a slime thing. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Alright, here's some little finger puppets. My friend found these for me at uh, Party City. She got me a whole set. <laughs> they're so cute. And they're, they're cute for just, you know, having on the shelf just for a little something extra. Alright, this I got recently. It's a puzzle. It's good for a prop. <laughs> a figure prop if you want to have, like... Because I've had... Uh, my Master Splinter on top here and have the turtles all around it. You know what I mean? It's good for a display prop, but it's also kind of a cool puzzle. Classic style. Alright, here we are with a couple of shaped puzzles. All these I found at Dollar Tree recently, by the way. All three of these. So, be on the lookout. They're getting 
Getting some classic stuff there. These are made by Spin Master puzzles. So these are shaped puzzles. I've got this one. It's round. I've got this one that's actually a pizza. It's also round. Super cute. Alright, here we are with a... There was, let's see, what came in this one? Was that, Oh yeah, it was a t-shirt. I have that shirt in my closet. Um, yeah, I bought this at I think it was Kohl's a couple Christmases ago. I like the top of it. It's good for keeping smaller things in if you want. So it's pretty handy. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down here. I'm going to get into a couple other things. Here's a hat. Found this at Walmart. I've been wearing it <laughs> along with my shirts. All my shirts are in the laundry except the black one that is what that came in the tin. Um, that one's still in the closet. But uh, all the my other shirts, I have like three or four other shirts. They're all in the laundry basket right now. <laughs> it's a nice hat. It's got a nice image of them on the front. By a world adjustable. I found this at Walmart. I think it was. Ten dollars, I think. I don't remember. I lost the receipt. <laughs> Go figure. All right, let's show some uh, some more vintage. You guys might like this stuff or recognize it. Here is an original Mondo Gecko figure. Now this one's missing his tail. But I found him at a local antique store. And uh, they were priced at, oh, I think they were priced at about $4.50 a piece. So I grabbed a couple. I grabbed Mondo Gecko. See, he's got braces. I always thought that was funny. And then I got this uh, kangaroo dude. I forget his name. I know he has a name, but he is a Ninja Turtles figure. I remember him from the line. And this one is an old Raphael figure that I painted. <laughs> because. Because. <laughs> um, well, actually, my friend did the um, tribal tattooing on him, which actually looks pretty cool. She did a good job there. But I basically painted his shell. It's just acrylic paint. And his mask, and uh, his elbow pads, wrist pads, knee pads. I, I painted all that, and the belt. But she went ahead and she just did <laughs> the little tribal tattoos, which I thought was kind of cool. Alright, and here we are with a cereal bowl. Raphael, this is the only one I ever got. Of course I wanted all four, but... I never was able to get all four of them. Yeah, it's Raphael. And this is from 1990, if you can see the year on there, maybe. I don't know, the lighting's kind of weird right now. Maybe it'll focus, maybe not. Anyway, it's 1990, folks. <laughs> Trust me. And uh, these are really cute. I still want to get the other three, but, oh well, I may not. <laughs> Alright, here we are with some, I found these at Dollar Tree. They're like party cups, so they're big ones. Got Michelangelo. I think I got these, oh, probably seven or eight years ago by now. I think I got these back in 2014. Uh, they don't have a year on them. But I'm pretty sure that's when I got them. Dantillo. Got Raphael. And these are cool for putting like pencils in, pens, whatever you want to put in them. Most cups are good for that. Leonardo. Alright, 
next. Now, I think I'm trying to figure out how to do this because this thing's big. Uh, I'm just going to lay it down here. This is my work backpack. <laughs> I found this at Walmart recently about oh, a month or two ago for back to school, you know. And it is an awesome backpack. I saw it and I was like, I have to have that. <laughs> Has the guys on the top there. And this whole pizza is the front pocket. I put my Guardians of the Galaxy keychain on there. Uh, but yeah, I take this to work as my work bag. So if anybody's seeing this video that has seen my backpack, hi guys. <laughs> Now you know what my YouTube channel is. <laughs> Congratulations, you found me. Alright, and here's the very back of it. Super cool design. Got all the guys there. As you can tell, I love my turtles. Alright, I'll put this down again. Get into the next two things. Um, let's see. I found these at Walmart, three ninety seven each, and I had to get both of them. <laughs> they come with stickers, and this one has Leonardo on it, so I was like, okay, I have to get that one too. <laughs> but yeah, the stickers are cool, and I love coloring books. I have quite a collection of them, actually, so these were perfect. Really nice. Perfect for any turtle fan to have. Alright, here's something funny I found. <laughs> found these in Walmart. <laughs> it was $10, I believe. And you get three pair of men's socks. And it's in a pizza box. Now, there's only one pair left in here because I've been wearing them. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use the box just for display, though. But here's what the socks are. I wore these the day I went and saw the new movie. And my friend was uh, a little annoyed with me because I was I was totally geeked out, guys. <laughs> I was wearing the socks and the hat and the t-shirt. And she's just like, oh my god, you know. But whatever. Um, but here we are. Different designs of socks, and they're, they're very comfortable, actually. Very comfortable. Alright, here we are with some keychains. Slash holiday ornaments. I've used these on our Christmas tree, like, pretty much every year since I've had them. Got all four turtles, and they have little bases, so you can take these out of the package if you want. But I like that the original box actually uh, got trashed pretty bad. It got wet in storage. So I had to take the insert out. And I like the insert because it has their names on them. You can see in the back there. Barely. And their corresponding colors. And they all say something different on their bases too. We've got Radical, Cowabunga, Awesome and Turtle Power. And yeah, it's... I think I have this taped. But yeah, I've been keeping these in the package for the past year. Alright, now... Uh, I found this, and of course I had to get it. Like, because it was only 20 bucks at Target. It has all the original characters from the original show all the popular ones anyway um in metal fig form these are mini die casts they're only about two about an inch and a half tall i should say even has all their names on the bottom there these are nano metal figs so be on the lookout for this set at target because it's only 20 bucks at Target. As opposed to online where 
Oh my goodness, I looked this up online. Oh, wow. <laughs> People would be gouging out there. I don't blame them, though. Alright, here we are with... I don't know why I bought this, honestly. Maybe because it's got the nostalgia factor for me. It's Colorforms Adventure Set. <laughs> Colorforms. I don't know if y'all remember Colorforms from back in the 90s. Back in the good old days. But yeah, these are like... They're not really stickers. They're like plasticky vinyl things that you can just put on backgrounds. Create your own story kind of thing. It was almost always fun. Always fun. And uh, yeah, it even has a sticker on it. On the front it says Colorforms Classics Retro Replay Edition. So I'm not sure if these were actually... If this particular set was out back then. Yeah, create your own Ninja Turtles adventure with color forms pieces that stick like magic. They're like I said, they're kind of plasticky sticker kind of things that stick to smooth surfaces basically, so you can stick them anywhere. Honestly, I remember sticking them everywhere when I was a kid. All right, next thing, might as well show this guy. Yeah. Oh, he's he's kind of big. <laughs> he's a Leonardo backpack uh i love this little guy so much he doesn't hold very much but uh yeah he's got a little got a little zipper back here and he's so cute i got him at let's see my local goodwill um they actually had him and michelangelo brand new back in oh 2012 when i was still working there so, of course, I grabbed, like, a whole set, and I made the other ones into, let's see, I made two of them into Raphael and and uh, Donatello, since we only had the two. But uh, I have since, uh, I gave those away. This is the only one I have left now. But I still love this little guy. I, I have him hanging on my dresser right now, actually, so... Just a fun little thing to have, you know? Alright. Okay, one of these books... got a couple books here. One of these books is an old, 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 old book. This. <laughs> I've had this since I was about six or seven. So... And, yeah, all the pieces are still there. Yeah, 1990. I have another smaller one somewhere. Not entirely sure where I put it. But I do have another smaller book. And it's... it's This is a really cool pop-up book. Back in the day when we had pop-up books. Remember those? It's got the... Got the changing thing here. Everything still works. This, however, I don't know what happened here. It kind of went flat. <laughs> it doesn't really pop up anymore. I always like playing with this one. Shredder like shaking them. Oh, you idiots. <laughs> and yeah, Shredder's arm got kind of bent here. But he's pointing at Splinter. He's going, you... I know that guy. The Technodrome. The guy's running there. See, you can tell I've tried to tape it back together because it's so old. Got the guys running. Ah, I got the big Technodrome. Dun, 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 dun. Got Master Splinter here. This actually kind of, kind of still moves. Yeah, it still works. doesn't move as good as it used to, but it still moves. And then we've got the rotating rock steady back here. Ah! Oh, so back. And then uh, this same, same rotating wheel has images that pop up on the TV. April, April's watching the monitors. 
and all the different stuff going on. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> and this part, the very end. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I still have fun with this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's really old. <laughs> Alright, and this one I got on Amazon about oh, probably five years ago now. Ninja Turtles Pizza Cookbook it has all kinds of pizza, real pizza recipes, goulash pizza. It's really good pictures of the turtles in here. Mighty Meatball and Sauerkraut Pizza. I mean, there's some good recipes in here. I recommend getting this. This book came out in 2017. You can see that on the back there. Good book. Oops. Having a calamity back here. Alright, one more book. It's my favorite. Because it has a... I think I've shown this one in another video. I, I don't remember though. It's been a while. But this one... That's like the history of the turtles, character designs, different show history. But what it also has that I love has a preprint of the original 1984 comic. It even has 1984. It's actually the full reprint of the comic too so everything's in there the original i've read it so many times because i never really had the original comic because i grew up with more with the cartoon show because when i was in 1984 i was barely two <laughs> i wasn't even two yet back then so i didn't really know about the turtles until the cartoon came out so that's why I really wanted this book. And this book, I don't know if the cover's different now, but as you can see, it has um, different variations of the turtles on the front, if you really look at it. It's got the 2012 version of Donnie. Looks like this is like a later version of Leonardo, early version of Michelangelo, and like a original version of Raph. So this is quite an amazing book. And this book came out, let's see, in 2014. You can see there. It's right there. Alright guys. Oh, that'll cover this video. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of crap. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna be putting some stuff away, so... <laughs> Um, thanks for watching if you stay with me through the whole thing and uh, next video I might cover more of the action figures meaning I'm probably going to open some of the new movie ones too so we'll get into that all right guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Ninja Turtles or whatever else I decide to do a video on all right check you guys later